Today we'll talk to you about the technologies of modern military aviation. About fighters of the new already 6th generation. We've prepared an overview of one of the 6th generation fighter development programs. The Future Combat Air System Program, or FCAS for short. This is a common program of the governments of France, Germany, and Spain, bringing together their advanced developments in aviation, engineering, and weapons. Sounds cool, doesn't it? Are you ready to see what model of fighters the countries of Western Europe are preparing? Let's go then. Let's start a little with the history of this promising 6th generation fighter program. In fact, the FCAS concept is not as new as it might seem at first glance. For the first time, they started talking about the combat air system of the future as part of the European Technology Acquisition Program. The development of this program is considered one of the key instruments in ensuring European autonomy and sovereignty in the field of defense and security in the future. In addition, the program aims to strengthen Europe as an industrial and technological region, not only in the defense sector, but also in the civilian sector, according to its initiators. The first concept of the modern FCAS arose back in 2001. Due to the merger of the production and scientific and technical capacities of Germany, France, Great Britain, Italy, Sweden, and Spain. It was a system of systems, or SOS approach, combining manned and unmanned systems, combat aircraft, and unmanned aerial vehicles. All this with the aim of being more efficient in anticipated scenarios in the future, compared to working exclusively with manned systems. Officially, the beginning of work on the prototype of the 6th generation fighter can be considered 2017, when Germany and Spain sent a request to Airbus to start work on a new fighter called the Combat Air System of the Future. At the Berlin Air Show ILA 2018, Dassault Aviation and Airbus officially announced the signing of an agreement on cooperation in the development of FCAS. And already in February 2019, the governments of France and Germany signed a contract for a joint conceptual study for Dassault Aviation and Airbus under the FCAS program. The French company Dassault is now considered the main contractor for the fighter model of the FCAS program. Airbus is their main partner. Airbus will partner with MBDA to develop drones, called remote carriers, and tails to launch a cloud-based combat system. Safran and MTU Aero engines were commissioned to develop and test the engines. In December 2019, these companies agreed to establish a 50-50 joint venture, which they plan to create by the end of 2021. This venture should take over the management of the development, production, and after-sales support of the new engine to power the fighter under the FCAS program. The fighter model FCAS is working on is called the Next Generation Fighter, or NGF. It's slated to operate as part of a manned unmanned command formation, which will include attack drones and observer drones, also known as remote carriers. All manned and unmanned elements of the command formation will be connected to the military cloud storage, which will operate on the basis of artificial intelligence and machine learning algorithms. Thanks to this, the Air Force headquarters will be able to fly the 6th generation FCAS aircraft at a safe distance, while simultaneously deploying remote carriers in dangerous areas. What will be the technological features of this new generation fighter model? Key capabilities of this aircraft include significant survivability due to active and passive functions of stealth technology, and situational awareness using advanced avionics and a set of versatile sensors. Also, this next generation fighter is promised great maneuverability, speed, and range. This can be achieved thanks to the super powerful engine and advanced flight control system. It is also planned to equip this model of the fighter with new weapons to ensure greater firepower of the aircraft, including kinetic weapons of different power, as well as means for transporting directed energy weapons. In addition, it'll be quite competitive in the fight involving electronic warfare. Work on the first prototype of a new generation fighter is already ongoing. In February 2020, the Budget Committee of the German Parliament approved the first phase, Phase 1A. So, within the framework of the initial contract, the already known companies Dassault and Airbus, together with their partners MTU Aero Engines, Safran, MBDA, and Tails, launched the demo phase. Phase 1A is planned to last 18 months and will cover most of the R&D processes. 
Unfortunately, despite the previous agreements, Spain doesn't take part in this phase. The cost of Phase 1A is estimated at approximately 155 million euros. After Phase 1A, on the basis of its acquisitions, it is planned to start Phase 1B, in which additional contractors will be involved. More detailed information on the functions and timing of this phase is not yet available. In May 2021, the governments of France, Germany, and Spain agreed on the next phase of the jointly developed FCAS program. According to the new conditions, the first flight of the new generation demonstration fighter is planned to take place at the end of 2027. Although according to preliminary schedule, this should have happened a year earlier, in 2026. Also, there were certain clarifications on the components of the program itself. So, FCAS, in addition to a new generation fighter, or NGF drones, a military cloud storage designed to provide information advantage will also include a new generation weapon system or NGWS. The purpose of the platform is to replace modern fighters. In particular, French Rafales, German Typhoons, and Spanish EF-18 Hornets. The joint venture of Safran aircraft engines and MTU aero engines to develop a new generation fighter engine was created back in April 2021. In fact, six months ahead of schedule, and now it is already actively working on its part of Phase 1A, the venture called EUMET, which stands for European Military Engine Development Team, will be based in Munich under the auspices of the CEO appointed by Safran. EUMET's goal is to oversee the development, production, and support of an engine for a next-generation fighter jet. The joint venture will become the only contractual partner for the countries participating in the engine program. Safran aircraft engines and MTU Aero engines will also work with the Spanish company ITP Aero as the main partner of EUMET. Through EUMET, the partners will develop technology and demonstration devices for the best engine in its class to meet the needs of the rapidly evolving European military. In reality, things are not as optimistic as they might seem. The FCAS program, like most similar programs, is experiencing certain funding problems. According to this, there's a fairly popular opinion regarding the merger of FCAS with another European program, which is in fact its competitor, Tempest. Tempest is a British-led sixth-generation fighter development program. Experts consider Tempest and FCAS programs to be practically equal. Noting the inefficiency and irrationality of investing huge financial resources in two different almost identical programs, the merger of two such large-scale programs may be really effective in the end, but the issue of management of such a merger raises some concerns. Indeed, even now, FCAS, which by its nature is also the result of unification of Western European countries, in particular France and Germany, has certain disagreements in its ambitions regarding the program. France seeks through the program to strengthen the military power of the EU using joint production facilities, as well as to ensure a kind of mutual dependence between France and Germany. Germany, however, does not show this kind of ambition at all. In particular, in the context of mutual dependence with France and vice versa, is more cautious about state funding and public opinion regarding the development of military equipment within the framework of FCAS. Whatever political nuances may arise there, FCAS is still working in autonomous regime and is preparing to demonstrate its first prototype. According to the current schedule, its tests will begin in 2027, and the entry into full-scale operation awaits us already in 2040. The window of the development and production of a completely new generation of fighters is simply amazing. In less than five years, you and I may witness a completely new fighter technology that'll change the way we think about this type of aviation forever. Can you imagine? Everything is like in science fiction films, only in our reality. The future is closer than you think, and with our channel, you will become even closer to it and be one of the first to know what it'll be like in the field of technology.